Welcome to our training on how to create a Google AdWords campaign. My name is Mike File. I am the owner of House of File Technologies in Dickinson, Texas. Uh, our mission is to help consumers and small businesses use technology effectively. So in this training, we're going to go through the steps of creating a effective Google AdWords campaign. Uh, you would be amazed how much business uh, Google Ad can drive to your website. Uh, it's so much better if somebody searches for your product or your service to have your website pop up right on top of that search page with, rather than them having to go down and search the bottom or even go to page two or three, which very, very few people actually do. So this video is uh, a pretty short training. I am actually going to take you through the steps. I am creating a Google AdWords campaign for my service of creating small business websites. So you can see each step that I do to create the ad. And I will also uh, show you some other things that may not apply to my ad, but if you have a different product or different service may apply to your ads. So let's get going. Get started. I just want to, to give you my contact information. In case you have any questions, you can email me or uh, go to our website and get more information about this. So anyway, uh, our email is techlounge at comcast.net and website is techlounge.biz. Okay, so we are now in Google AdWords. Uh, of course, if you do not have a Google account, it's simple just to, to go and create one. Uh, do a search for Google AdWords and go create account. There you will put in your information about your business, your contact information. Uh, you have to put in billing because they'll have to have a way to pay for the ads. And then you get to this. As I said, very, very intimidating to look at, but a lot of the stuff that you just can, don't even have to worry about. Uh, this is a campaign that I have going right now on uh, iPhone repairs. Uh, you create your, your campaign, you get yourself a budget. Uh, they will not charge you more per day than what your budget is. Uh, if, I hope everybody understands the way Google AdWords works is you pay per click. Your ad is up on Google whenever somebody does a search for what your service or product is. But you do not pay anything for the ad unless somebody actually clicks to your website. So what you want to do is get the correct keywords and then have a website that once you click to there, that's when you sell them because you've wasted money if you don't sell them once they click to the website. The key is to get them to your website and to close the sale. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a campaign. Right up here, this red button says plus. So let's go ahead and we are gonna do a search network only. It is the most effective campaign not to cost you money, uh, especially for small businesses. As you can see, there's all kinds of other types of things. These are really for much bigger businesses than you probably have or I have. So the most effective thing for a small business is a search network only campaign. Okay, now we want to name our campaign. So as I said, I'm going to do this one for small business. So I'm just going to name the campaign Business Website. Now, you can have more than one ad under your campaign, and actually you are, uh, it's a good idea to do that because you can see which ads are effective and which ones aren't. Uh, but the campaign as a whole is where you set your budget. So, uh, you know, like I could have uh, an ad that says small business website, which I'm going to have, or I could have an ad that says Facebook page, web, uh, business Facebook page, or something like that. Okay. Uh, this is if you wanted to bring certain something over from another campaign, which I don't. It's going to be this is going to be a, uh, a new one. So we're going to go up with this search network only. Okay. Under networks, we don't want to do search partners. You want to do just the Google network. Okay. Uh, all devices. Now I I'm running all devices because to me mobile is important. There are some rules of thought that you should set up a different campaign for uh, your computer and for your mobile devices, but I'm gonna run them all. This is what's important, your location. If you're selling worldwide or nationwide, you can pick that, all countries and territories, but I'm not. Uh, I'm doing the websites basically for the Galveston County or the Dickinson, Texas area. So I am going to choose. So first thing I'm gonna do is put in my zip code. 
and these ads will only run in the locations that I put. Okay, so right now in my zip code, I have 170,000 people. Uh, I want to get more than that. This is going to show you this where it would go, okay? I actually can have a bigger range than that. So I'm going to go over here and look at my options, and I'm going to add Galveston County. Ah, look at that. That does real good. Okay, but I also have options up here because I'm anybody who lives up in the League City area could easily come down and get a website. So uh, let's just put in League City. League City, Texas. That's going to uh, add another quarter of a million. Okay, so now I've added Dickinson, League City, and Galveston County. Let's put in Webster also. Ad. Okay, now that is my area that I want to run the ads. Uh, so, you know, if I'm doing a small business website and I'm trying to do an inexpensive one, just a five page for, for basically very small businesses or individuals with home businesses that can't afford a fancy website, nobody who lives up in the woodlands is going to drive down here for the website. So I want to keep this in a location in where it's effective. Because remember, if somebody in the Woodlands clicks your ad and then they look and say, oh, they're down in Dickinson, Texas, I'm not going there, you still pay for that ad. You want to be very focused on your target. So that is my geographic location. Uh, obviously, I want it in English. Okay, and this is where your options are for your bid strategy. You can manually set your uh, bids for clicks. A lot of people do this, but at this point, if you have a small business, I would rather let AdWords set the maximized clicks because I, if, if somebody searches that they want a small business website, I want to be in that front page. Okay, even if I'm paying a little bit more for the click, it's better to pay four bucks for a click on the front page than to be way back in the third page and it's a dollar, but nobody looks at it. Here's where you control your budget though. You don't want to get carried away. I mean, somebody could sit there and do a, a bunch of clicks and not ever buy your service and it costs you money. So you can budget how much you want per day. And for this, I'm going to keep that budget at $10 a day. That way I won't spend more than $300 a month. And you think about $300 a month for the reach that I have here. I mean, that's almost 1 million people that I can reach with my ads. Okay, now this is where I put in, I want the ads to show my location. Okay, so I, I want people to know where my location is. I can also have site links to areas of my website if I was selling off the website. Or I can extend my ads with a phone number. In this case, I'm not going to, but in my ad that I have set Google AdWord campaign for iPhone repairs, I do have the phone number in there. So if I click that, then that gives me the options of the numbers that I have registered when I set my business up. I could set up to my business phone number. Okay. And if somebody calls then, and this is what's kind of cool about it because it'll say call business on the ad. Well, you call the business and the number they get on their phone that they're calling is not your number. It, it gives them a different number because it hides yours. This is very good uh, because people may want to try to get your number to spam your phone. And this way they cannot do that. Okay, so I'm going to take that off because I'm not using phones for this. All right, now I'm going to save and continue. Now this is where you set up your keywords. Keywords is important because you want people to find your ad when they search for something. Uh, and this is where you can have different ads. So I'm just going to set one for now. Okay, and it's going to be small. Got to type it right. Business website. That small business website is also going to be, or a basic business website is going to be my main keywords. Small business website is going to be the ad group name. So you want your keywords to relate to the name as much as possible. The two main things for getting on that front page of Google is to have the best bid from anybody you're competing against and have the most relevant key keywords to your group name. So of course I'm going to use 
uh, my main ad group name. Small website. And then we're going to add a few more. And I'm not going to spend time typing in all 20 here while you're watching. I will come back and add more keywords later. But as you can see, you want to avoid one word keywords. You want to have phrases. And it's good to start with at least 10 to 20. But try to keep your main thing in here. I should add a website there. Website creation. And... Um, And let's do one more just to show, because I also, in this package, offer a Facebook page. So I'm going to have uh, business Facebook page. This does not have my ad group name in there, and I might do another ad group that says business Facebook page. But I want people who search Facebook to get there. This is good, too, because if you have something that you do not want to spend the money on, uh, as an example, on my iPhone repairs, I only do iPhone repairs. I do not do repairs on Galaxy phones. So I don't want somebody with a Galaxy phone clicking on my website and I'm paying for that only to find out, they find out that I don't do the repair. So if you put a minus, you can put a minus there and then put a keyword, and I'm just gonna show you, I'll erase it later, uh, Galaxy. That means if Galaxy appears in that search, it will not go, my ad will not show up for them. So by putting a minus, you exclude certain keywords. Uh, and you want to exclude things that you don't do because you don't want to have to pay for it. Okay, and here's where you could do another ad group. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, but if you want to try three or four different ads, and then you can see which one's effective. Okay, let's continue to ads. Now is where we create. And this is the page you want it to link to. Well, I want it to link to my technology lounge. So I'm going to go over here and... Copy the page. Okay. Headline. Website. Okay. Now this is the display URL. Here's the difference between the, the uh, final and the display. If you are selling a product and say your product is a different page on your website, for your final URL, you can put, I put uh, technologylounge.biz slash websites. And then to display, just put technologylounge.biz. This is what displays in the ads, but when they click on your ad, this is the destination it goes to. It is not always the same website, okay? Uh, in this case, it is for me, so technologylounge.biz. Now the ad text, very limited. And if you look over here, this shows you what it's going to look like from a side. Because when you do a web, a web search, you have ads down the side and you have ads up top. This is what it's going to show if it's a top or bottom. Okay, so in this case, uh, and you are limited, and it'll tell you right over your limit. So I'm going to put five page business site for only $249. Okay, look up here. This shows what the first line is for a site ad preview, and it's the, the uh, bottom or top. Now, in the second, I'm going to put includes Let's spell it right. Facebook page and SEO, search engine optimization. I would have loved to put includes Facebook page and say Google registration or Yelp registration, but no room over here. Okay, so this is what my ad is going to look like. I'm going to look at it, and uh, it looks pretty good. But you know what? On the one line, maybe a comma would look better. How's that look? Okay. 
And this is, if you want your device preference to be only mobile, you can check that. Uh, my iPhone repair ad, yes, I have it checked for only mobile because people break their phone, they're going to look for a place they can call immediately and get it fixed. Now, this can always be changed. This is nothing's written in stone here. You can run this ad for a week. If it's not getting anything, then you come in and change it. So I'm going to save that. So now I have my first, this ad. Um, I can create another one if I want to. And let's review the campaign. My budget's $10. Okay. This is the ad groups. I mean, I'm sorry, the keywords. And this is my, how my ad looks running. Okay, so everything looks good. And as you can see, they recommend you try two ads. That way you can see which one works after a couple weeks. And when you're done, finish and save. And I have an ad running. And this is the ad group. And from this spot is where I could edit it if I wanted to. You know, just click over here in the edit button. I could edit the name. Or I can just go in here and edit anything. Oh, ooh, that's cool. Right now, it's set at a penny. Normally, uh, I, a dollar to two dollars is what you're going to pay per click for most ads. It just kind of depends on what business that you are in. Okay, so basically, that completes that. You have now uh, set up a, a Google AdWords campaign. Uh, if you want to come back and look at it, then you go to the ads, and there's nothing I can really show yet, but if you hit your ad, and they have to review it first before it goes live, uh, you can look at your keywords. And when, when you get clicks, it's going to show which keywords gives you the best clicks. So these can be tweaked all the time. You can keep adding new keywords. You can take out keywords that are not working. Okay. Uh, here's your settings if you want to change anything in your settings. I can edit anything that I put in there. I can edit my locations. Or, all kinds of things. So you have a lot of control and the best thing is just to sit back and let people start clicking to your website and making you money. Uh, thank you for spending your time watching this video. I'm Mike File and please remember my contact information uh, techlounge at comcast.net if you have any questions. Thank you.